Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to the name of Yeshua. Uh, we thank God for our lives. We thank God for how far he has brought us. We thank God for his mercies. God has been good. And for that reason, we are so grateful for him keeping us. Hallelujah. Today, I promise not to take too much of your time. Um, it's raining. You can see it at the background. I pray the network will be stable, but God is in, is in control. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you adorations. Uh, we worship you, Lord, for how far you brought us. We've gathered again to hear your word and to pray unto you. You are the one that answered all prayer. Father, if there is a God in heaven to answer us, then there ought to be men to pray. And so we have gathered to pray unto you that answered all prayer, to you that all prayer come to. Father, have your way. Spirit of the living God, flow through this vessel. Let me speak the divine counsel unto your people. Father, let the heart of the people be receptive. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, Yasmin, you are welcome. Fabi, you are welcome. Ikena Jude, you are welcome. Nisi Barnes, you are welcome. Alice Annan, you are welcome. Adam's Faith, you are welcome. Um, Gifty, you are welcome. F.I., you are welcome. Alexandra Alele, you are welcome. Lisa Tambola, you are welcome. Tuli Mafosa, you are welcome. Emilia, Emilia, you are welcome. Yes. Gandhi Boachi, you are welcome. Kafui, you are welcome. Emmanuel, you are welcome. Uh, Mavis Jamesi, you are welcome. Anita Malene, you are welcome. Um, Eve J, you are welcome. Ajoa Amuako. And to everyone that will be joining us later, uh, Tomesia, Barnabas, Joshua, uh, Daniel, Getty, and friends, you are all welcome. Evelyn Danso, God bless you for joining in. Rebecca Amaya, God bless you. God is good. Hallelujah. I've used two minutes to mention all your names. <laughs> God is good. This morning, the Lord gave me two things, and I think I want to deal with one today, and tomorrow we'll deal with the other. And um, the Lord kind of um, dropped it into my spirit. It was so strong in my spirit, and I noticed that we need to deal with it. There's a picture of someone. Um, it's like a woman or a young lady that is preparing for marriage. You are preparing for marriage. You are preparing for marriage. But as you are preparing for marriage, there are people you consider to be friends. There are people you consider to be friends. And that they are conspiring to bring shame to you. They are conspiring to make sure that the marital plans will be aborted. And even at the center of it, um, something disgraceful. I, I see someone like, um, bringing certain text messages and um, information they know to make sure that they sabotage, that's the right word, they sabotage the plan. Um, I see someone that is very close to you. She's considered a family. And according to them, the, your marriage is a statement of um, disgrace. And so they want you out of the way. And they also say you talk too much and you are bragging too much. So this is the picture I saw. And the Lord said, it is not only about somebody getting married. Um, it has to also do with um, an office. I see a conspiracy. Basically, we are going to pray against conspiracies. I see a conspiracy that is being hatched. Um, it's not yet hatched. It's being prepared to be hatched. So it's being nurtured in covent i usually call them demonic incubators is being uh prepared in a way to be hatched and when it's hatched and when it's hatched if you don't take care you may never recover from it um when you read the book of second samuel um i've forgotten the real um uh yes second samuel 16 i believe yes second samuel 16 um David had a counselor called Ahitophel. Now, this man was very cunning in his approach. He, has, he was a man that was full of wisdom. In fact, if Ahitophel speak, it is considered as you have 
gone to seek counsel from an oracle. So when Ahitophel speaks, it is considered as a counsel of God. When Ahitophel speaks, you don't need to ask God anything. Know that it is from death. And at a time that um, Absalom, the son of um, David, rose up against him, Bible says that, okay, Anita Malin, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I'm going to read that. Um, Bible said that as Absalom rose up against David, Ahitophel left the camp of David and went to join himself to Ab Absalom. And when David heard it, he was told that Ab Ahitophel has gone to join himself with Absalom. Trust me, David was afraid because this is a man that has given counsel, war counsel, personal counsel. He practically knows if David is running away today, where he will go, what he will eat, who he will sleep with, whatever he will do, Ahitophel is in charge of those information. And so someone that is so close to the king now join himself with an enemy. You will know that it, that is not a good news for the king. Hallelujah, somebody. And so, when he was told, David prayed a certain prayer. And you and I are going to engage that kind of prayer. Because such a person, such a person, they are detrimental to your growth. And you see, when someone is in your camp, when someone is very close to you, and they say things about you, People easily believe it. People easily believe it. They won't question it because these are people that are close to you. But the reason why God seeks to intervene in this conspiracy is because the damage will be huge and the foundation in which this is being done, you don't deserve it. It is pure evil. It is just pure evil that they seek to do against you. And so the Lord said, go out and let them know. Let them rise up to pray against conspiracy, evil conspiracy. Now for a conspiracy to work against you, one, you are insane. So be careful the sins that easily beset you. Sins that easily beset you. Be careful of them. Two, be quick to respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Some of you, you don't know the voice between your own thoughts and the voice uh, of the Holy Spirit. Believe me, the voice of the Holy Spirit, it is not um, um, a domineering voice. It's not something that will push you or like a devil trying to take over you, but it is very firm. It doesn't leave room for negotiation. It is very firm. Mm. A lot of you don't know the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And I, I see, you know, the, as I was speaking, I see a picture of someone sleeping. And the angel of God tap you to pray. You woke up and you went back to sleep again. There is a conspiracy. It is evil. This afternoon, I received a message from a young lady and said, after yesterday's prayer time, I went to sleep and I had a dream. In this dream, I had, um, in reality, she has a child. And the family does not even know because she lives outside in another country. They are not even aware that she has a child. But in the dream, her child, her elder sister has taken that child and has changed it and given her another child in the dream. The, uh, the, the elder sister has taken the, her child and given her another child. So this woman started praying and shouting that give me my child. And when she, she noticed that she, she is aware of what is happening, she gave her, her child and took the wrong one. But even when she took the wrong one back, this woman followed her until she started honing her car and started shouting. And when she noticed that people were gathering, this sister left her alone. There are demonic exchanges. You see, I've received so much testimonies that I know that within these 30 minutes that we spend together, God is riding on it to save a lot of people. 
to deliver people from demonic attempts, attempts on their life, to expose evil. You see, this is a prophetic meeting. And so when the word is given, it has been revealed to you. It is for you to lay hold on it and contend with it. So 30 minutes with prayer alone is not enough. I am just revealing the counsel of God to you. So when you receive it, we may spend time to pray. Glory be to God. But don't go back and sleep. Lay hold on it. Anyone that has sent me a, 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 a testimony, you will notice that there are people who constantly, they watch to the end. Even sometimes, I have someone who is sitting by me. When we are finished, she has heard me in person preach. But as soon as she goes home, before she sleeps, she rewatch it and pray along again. Because sometimes you may think you have heard everything I said. But when you watch again, you notice that I said something that you did not hear. Even sometimes I rewatch it myself and I notice that I've said certain things that did not register in my mind because as an oracle, I speak the counsel of God and I don't premeditate over it. Anytime I try to rehearse what I need to say, I mess up. So I don't. I don't try it. There is evil conspiracy boiling up. But David prayed a certain prayer. Say, Lord, let the counsel of Ahitophel yes, be as foolishness. foolishness. Let it become foolishness. Mm. He believes in his gifts. He thinks he has information. Mm. He thinks that he's in the position to bring me down. Mm. But Lord, arise and turn their counsel into foolishness. Mm. There are people that you may consider as um, they are your enemies. Usually they are not your enemies. Mm. Before another woman will buckle up to take over your man you should know that they are standing on something you are not aware of before someone will, will, will budge on you to take something that rightfully belongs to you they are standing on information you are not aware of i have heard of people that arm robbers go to pastor's house because of offering there is an insider that will always give that information so people that you consider as enemies usually are not your enemies. They are people that you consider as loved ones. People you consider as family. They are the one when they hurt you, you won't see it coming. Except Jehovah reveals it to you. I feel the power of God so strongly. So tonight you and I are going to go into prayer. Every gathering of evil. See, I just confess as, as i declare this i see a gathering of vultures i see a gathering of vultures these vultures their their feathers are black but they have a white is there a vulture like that that have a white neck these uh, feathers here they have gathered watching over some carcasses any gathering of evil any gathering of evil concerning your life, your loved ones, your marriage, your home, your business, your children. Let Jehovah arise uh, and defend your boundaries in the name of Jesus. Let every gathering be scattered now in Jesus' name. Let gathering of evil, let gathering of hyenas, let gathering of vultures, blood sucking demons that are gathering against your life, your family. Your health. In the name of Jesus. Uh, let them be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. We cause them to be scattered now in the name of Jesus. We cause them to be scattered in the name of Jesus. Any gathering of evil. Any plan of evil. Any demonic counsel against your life. Uh, oh God arise. Uh, and let our enemies be scattered. Uh, yes, 
any meeting that is being called because of you uh, in the name of Jesus uh, let them be scattered uh, any council any demonic gathering against your life, against anything that concerns you, let the tender of God strike them, scatter them in the name of Jesus. We call for confusion in their camp in the name of Jesus. Raze gadi barakato sadaba, regedi bazada gadeya, raze gadu baragadeya. Let there be a confusion in their camp. Let there be a confusion in their camp. May they not agree together to destroy you. Any plan they take, and may it be rendered into confusion. In the name of Jesus. Azua kadi baran kadosha, reva zuzi vola gade jala barosa, rebede kede zada barakatosa, ayazadi barakatosa. You are entering demonic zones. Don't be lazy about your prayer. Any gathering concerning your life, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Uh, any conspiracy from hell concerning your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ayazali Valoza. Regedi Vazodapa. Rezedi Gadesha. Lord, cause them to be exposed. Lord, cause them to be exposed. Anyone that is pretending around our lives, uh, Lord, expose them. Uh, expose them. Uh, expose evil. Expose evil. Expose evil. Yazaze Zadosha. Raze Zibaloza. Raze Gedi Baragadeya. Lord, cause the confusion. Uh, among these demonic conspirators, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, cause the confusion. Uh, Holy Spirit, cause the confusion. Uh, we send the angels. Uh, let them cause a destruction, sir. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Azidi Gadoshadaba, Rosivele Gedeaza. I see a name, a name, a name. Uh, the name as Asabia. It is a name that there are few people that know you. I see the name that has been written. Uh, and I see Asabia's name placed under a stone. Uh, and I hear a declaration, sir. Uh, as long as this this name is under this stone. Uh, Asabia can never rise up from this disgrace. Uh, we cause the wind of God to blow. A wind like a tsunami that can lift up stones. Uh, we cause a redemption for Asabia. And anyone that is connecting to this person. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I hear Julie. Julie, I see, I see a two hand cross like this. There is a bet on your life uh, that Julie, you will never get married. Uh, I see an age like 35. Uh, I see an age like 35. Uh, you are getting close to that year. You are about to celebrate your birthday. But I stand as a prophet of God. Uh, I declare every bet on your life. Uh, we cut off those hands in the name of Jesus. Uh, 
Let God disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Uh. Let God disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Uh. Let God disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Uh. I see a name as is as if it's Docus. Because the name I had first was Tabita. I don't know whether you still use Docus or Tabita, but I see an evil conspiracy against you in that office. Uh. If you don't take her in the next 24 days, you will be fired. Uh, because I see something. You are in charge of finance. Uh. Money has been stolen and it will be said that you are the one. Uh, but I stand in as a as a prophet of God, uh, any demonic counsel against your life, uh, Docas, you are free in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are free in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are free in the name of Jesus. Uh, any evil conspiracy, every conspiracy, there is a woman online, your husband is called Albert. I see a suspension letter place on Albert's table in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus he will not be suspended in the name of Jesus he will not be suspended in the name of Jesus and Yazazi Barosa da Gadea Razega divas water Lirase Catosa Baracatea Razedi Barosa da Gadea. I hear a name like Kukwa from the central region. Ayazadi Baracatosa. I hear a voice that if we don't take care, Kukwa will be happy. Make sure we cause pain. I see an arrow just hit your mother. You are about to shed tears, sir. But I declare, this is not a plan of God for your life. Uh. That arrow is being sent back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Ayazadi varosa da gadeya, razeva luza di varosa da gadeya. Razeka di baragadeya, rezo di barase kataya, razeka du barasa gadeya, li barasi kete barosa, rezeka di bazanda ragadeya, hey yazadi barakatosa, rega di bazadi barosa dagade, ayazaze gadeya, we are bought any demonic planner, and we are bought every conspiracy of evil against your life uh, any gang up any gang up ayazadi uh, barakatosa e palade zada bareka rezedi bazodi baragadeya ayazadi baragadeya alora swata gadeya Ayezadi gadejaba razega du baraseta iyazade bazwa kadeya akwanda razeta in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I want to pray for a lady called Elizabeth 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 aside from things being delayed in your life I see that you constantly experience miscarriages. You are dark in complexion. I see a woman that has been sorrowful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see a woman that has been sorrowful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see a woman that has been sorrowful. You look so sorrowful. Kaziva Lagadiata. Elizabeth, I rescue you in the name of Jesus from the shackles of sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Aliva Rosi Kadiata Baranka Day. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing this into my remembrance. Elizabeth, you are free in the name of Jesus. Uh. Now there is a young man of God, uh, Kadiba Zanta Lagadea. The Lord spoke about it. I know you are online. I'm sorry I wasn't able to meet you. Uh, but I want you to fast before I see you again. Listen.
you i don't know whether you were at church or you were in a meeting as a guest preacher i don't know preacher or whatever it is but someone came to kneel by your side someone came to kneel someone came to kneel under your feet as if they are giving you honor but since then you you notice that your feet you have been diagnosed of sugar diabetes and the saw it's never going away on your feet what i saw earlier on some time back and the lord just brought it to my remembrance is that listen i see that lady that knelt under your feet i see another young man that now under your feet as if he's honoring you uh, let a group is it a group of beads are they called groups a swarm of beads around your feet and they are making honey and so your sugar level around your feet keep increasing so there is a saw on your feet if you are the one i'm speaking to go on a three-day fast I know because of the medicines, but what you are facing has nothing to do with medicine. I am not against medicine. I take my children to the hospital. Myself, I go to the hospital. And so I have nothing against it. I am not an awkward. I have not been told to preach that. And so that is not my calling. I have nothing against it. But I see a swarm of bees around your feet. I declare at the end of that three day fast, uh, every of those bees will be sent back to the center. You will meet that person that did that, and the face will be swelling up. Uh, the Lord is causing a revenge on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Raziva zuata gadi parasa diata liza di baraka tosa da gadeya. I declare healing upon that feet, that feet, that feet, that feet that is swelling up, that feet. Listen, you 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 are perpetually free in the name of Jesus. The person knelt at your feet as if he's the person is respecting. Oh God, like he's giving you a certain form of honor to a man of God. But she released beads at your feet. But I declare in the name of Jesus, you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. I see a woman just hug someone. And when she hugged you, she released a certain sickness upon you. I noticed a certain sickness. When the person hugged you, you felt this shivering, a cold wind blew through you. You knew that it wasn't ordinary, but you were not daring enough to tell him to take it back. But in the name of Jesus tonight, uh, we declare anything that they have demonically exchanged uh, uh, in the name of Jesus, let them go back to center in the name of Jesus. Zalia Talagado Shaba. In the name of Jesus, anyone that has exchanged something from you and taking something that belongs to you, we stand in the blood of Jesus. Uh, we cause havoc in the camper. We retrieve everything that belongs to us in the name of Jesus. Some of you are going to have weird dreams. Some of you are going to have weird dreams. You don't need anyone to interpret it for you. You will know and exchange are going to take place you are going to take whatever belongs to you that they took in the name of jesus some of you are going to have very weird vivid dreams your eyes will be on but you'll be having visions the lord is going to expose certain people thank you holy spirit i love you holy spirit listen the lord said something to me say people are going to live your life suddenly without an explanation there are certain people that are going to live your life without giving an explanation. Don't ask them anything. Don't find out why they have left your life. Because God himself has sent a sword against them. An angel with a sword was chasing them away from you. Uh, don't find out why they are living your life. Uh, because God is after them. Uh, the next attempt on your life again. Uh, they will not live to tell that story in the name of Jesus. They will not live to tell that story in the name of Jesus. Any demonic attempt on your life again. Uh, they will not live to tell that story again. 
again in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see someone this year alone. You have been admitted at the hospital three times. I hear food poisoning. Food poisoning. I keep hearing it. Food poisoning. You have been admitted at the hospital for three times. Three times. You nearly lost your life, but mercy said no. 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 In the name of Jesus, any attempts on your life again, they will regret ever trying it. Let the walls of fire be around you in the name of Jesus. Let the walls of fire be around your home in the name of Jesus. Let the walls of fire be around you in the name of Jesus. Any monetary eye picking information from you, feeding your enemies with it. We blind their eyes towards you in the name of Jesus. May you be hidden in the blood of Jesus. May you be hidden in the blood of Jesus. May you be hidden in the blood of Jesus. Tonight we declare every evil conspiracy against your life. We declare it will not see daylight. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Somebody, God bless you for making time. Hallelujah. God bless you for making time to join us. Hallelujah. To everyone that is new, God bless you for making time. This is a prophetic family. We pray, we prophesy, we fast, we commune together as a family. We are a growing family and God is taking us places. Hallelujah. Uh, one of the landmarks or one of the things that associates with this family is that testimony are like bread yeah. hallelujah somebody yeah. god bless you for making time to join and go ahead subscribe especially my family on youtube go ahead and subscribe if you're on facebook go ahead and follow give us a thumbs up and share the link my people share the link share it on you don't have to share it on your page somebody will see it somebody will join in hallelujah go ahead and share the link Go ahead and share the link. Hallelujah. Go ahead and share the link and give us a thumbs up. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Amen. Somebody, glory be to God. Now, I commit your ways into the hand of the Lord. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. Whatever you touch shall be a blessing. Your pocket will not run dry. Listen, you will not beg for bread. In the name of Jesus. Can I share this testimony with you before I leave? Today, whilst we were coming, I forgot to buy fuel because I, I wasn't looking at the gate, so I forgot to buy fuel. I got on the highway and I, I just saw it and the signal started blinking that I was running out of fuel. And unfortunately, we met an intense traffic and I was rushing to settle in and go live. And I, I started talking to God about it. I said, Lord, you have to do something because... It's a one way I can't go back and buy fuel. I'm stuck in traffic and I don't know what I was going to do. But I remembered that I was studying the book of Hebrew today. And one word from Hebrew chapter 1 verse 2, 3 up to 4. You will notice that it, uh, Paul started writing to the church, of, to, 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 to a Hebrew. He started writing to them and said that they are, uh, when they look at the life of the patriarchs, the old generation of the Israelites, one reason why God did not settle them or give them peace is because they did not believe him. Immediately, when it landed in my ears, I settled. And the signal on the dashboard went off. As if our car has been refueled to the glory of God. We drove to about how many minutes? Like 10 minutes drive to the nearest filling station, a fuel station to buy a car. I never knew that heaven had a filling station. Hallelujah. So it, it, it means, you see, our gathering means a lot to God. It's raining, the network is some way, but somehow we've been able to meet. So your time here, it's not a coincidence. It is because God has purpose to bless you. And I just want to share this with you to encourage you. Hallelujah. You will never run dry. When I, when I say you won't run dry, believe it all. Believe it. You won't run dry. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord said I should prophesy to a barren womb. 
The Lord said, prophesy to a barren womb. Prophesy to that barren womb. A year about this time, your child, you will be carrying them. You remember what I, I said, them? I didn't say he or her. Because it's not going to be one. Hallelujah. You, 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 it's not going to be one. Hallelujah. Get here and fresh. I should extend the hours. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I know. We'll think about that. Yeah. We'll think about that. But I want you to spend time to pray. Yeah. Spend time to pray. Anytime you are online, don't take it for granted. And any word you hear, keep it. Hallelujah. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Tomorrow we are going to pray for the sick. We are going to pray for the sick. So if you know anyone that is sick, tell them to connect. There will be healing. Hallelujah. This is so strongly in my heart. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we are praying for the sick. All sorts of sicknesses. Menstrual irregularities. Hey, my L and my R. Mercy. Irregularities. Oh God. Oh God. Mercy. Mercy on this one of God. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick. So if you know anyone that is not feeling well, they are sick. Some of them are bedridden. Connect them. Don't be selfish. Connect them. Connect them and let them join in. We are going to pray for the sick. Hallelujah. We are praying for the sick. That God will heal the sick. There are many people. The sickness is taking their money. The drugs that they buy weekly, my God, can build mansions. We are believing God that the spirit of God will flow and cause people to be healed. Hallelujah. So go ahead. Subscribe. 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 And go ahead, share the link, and give us a like or a thumbs up, as we usually say it. My name is Akua, your humble servant. God bless you so much. And I want to use the opportunity to thank everyone online. God bless you for joining in. May God remember your call anytime you cry unto him. May the heavens till their ears to hear your call. You will not beg for bread. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.